Hello, hello, and welcome to my part one of what if Deku was a shell elephant, aka this big motherfucker right there. Although, yes, he will be friends with Crash, but he will not be in the MHA verse. No, he will be sent to that time I got reincarnated as a slime. How, you may ask? Betrayal. And not just by Aoyama. No, 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 no. The betrayal of Bakugo as well. As he was just playing nice in this universe. When Shigaraki Tomura, the personality, was defeated and and is no longer a vestige. Uh, Aoyama and Bakugo hit him hard. Edge shot. Edge shot's sacrifice was in vain. Now, if you're wondering why I sound like shit, it's because I'm sick. At least it's a possibility. My throat's sore as all hell. I probably shouldn't be doing this, but hey, here I am. Anyway, yeah. He gets blown to pieces. Shoto walks up and loses his physical and metaphorical shit. Sending ice spikes and blue flames at both of them. He is angry. No, stretch that. He is beyond angry. He's beyond pissed. He is beyond everything. If you thought Broly was mad in DBZ, if you thought OG Broly was mad at Goku because he cried a lot, yeah, no, he Shota would make that version of Broly look like a child. With how angry he was. And. Yeah no. Those two are dead now. <coughs> uh, curse my sore throat. Now. When he dies. He. Again? Really? <sighs> Sorry to God, if any more show up, I'm going to lose my... Uh, who are you? Don't worry about it, kid. Here, how about this? I send you to a new world. What happened to you was not supposed to happen. <sighs> who the hell keeps breaking in and killing all my versions of Masuka Midoriya? Uh, I gotta go check in with Scarecrow, see if his one above all is breaking into my universes. And is killing off my Izukus. And therefore traumatizing my versions of Eri. Eri was adopted by... Eri was adopted by Izuku. And... It saddens him to leave him behind. <sighs> Why don't that kid wake up? Anyway, I'll just explain. Uh, apparently someone broke into my universe and killed him. Again. I swear, Alucard Deku might not be the only one. If this happens across the board, there's going to be problems. And I don't think that's going to... I don't think people are going to like it. Anyway. Hey, kid, wake up. What the heck? What is this place? You're in my room. 
Why am I in your room? You died. And you were sent to my void, which I modeled after my room. The hell? Yeah. Believe me, kid, you're not the first one. What do you mean by not the first one? Well, by not the first one, I mean you're not the only, not the first Tezuka Midoriya to pass through here. <sighs> Sorry, kid. I'm not tired. What? Huh? How are you? Uh -huh. Believe me, kid. If I knew, I would have told you. You were supposed to live out the rest of your days with, uh, Aerie as a single father. Uh, okay. What happened? Some bastard from, uh, another YouTube, another creator's, uh, his stories. Some of, one of his creatures probably got loose. Came here. So God, if we don't find him, he's been elusive, kid. I'm sorry this happened. Kid, I'll make it up to you. Oh, such a funny device. Something like this guy. Huh? This is bad for one of those really old games from the early 2000s. Yep, this shell of thing, kid. You, you're gonna have his powers. You can look like that, too. Uh, I'm gonna send you to another universe, too. Take it as my apology, kid. But, uh, sure. But what do you mean by another creator's creation? Yeah. See, kid, there are some universes that go down a darker path. Let's take this universe. Is that me? And do I have sisters? Yep. You do, kid. You see, the darker version of that universe, it, it had to be destroyed. Sure, I, t I saved what I could and put them in their own little universe where they can all just relax and live out the rest of their lives in peace. But they had to live with the knowledge that they couldn't save their universe. Anyway, I'm going to send you to this place. You'll meet this nice guy. His name is Rimuru Tempest. Well, you'll be there several thousand years before he... Don't worry, you're immortal. And I'll give you an older sister, too. Anyway, well, not really older sister, more like aunt, auntie, two aunts and an uncle. Oh, aunt, cousin, and uncle. Jesus Christ, sometimes I forget that Milam is young, Milam is their fucking niece. Anyway, yeah, he'll be the child of a, dra of a dragon known as a... Velgrund. And, uh, strange elephant crab creature. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead, kid. And, uh, you'll have some really good friends. Uh, three girls, to be exact. They'll hang out with you a lot. doing this again? Be because you weren't supposed to die in that universe. You know, even the darker version of that universe you lived. But you were in a lot of pain. And I should really systematically go through all my universes, see if any of them have been tampered with. Uh, Alright, kid. You'll be there in like three seconds. See, I'll check in routinely, but from the shadows. 
see you again. And there he goes. <sighs> I hope that kid has a good rest of his life. Deserves it for the bullshit that's been going on. Now back to narrating the story. Because fuck you, I can't. I don't give a fuck about what you think you can. I can. I will do it. It's my life. Not yours. My video is not yours. If you want to make it your own way. Go on ahead. Do it. No one's stopping you. Now, back to the video. Uh, <coughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah. Isaac is born to a vulgar and strange elephant crab creature thing. He does look like the picture minus Crash. Yeah, the mask is still a th is kind of a thing. He does have those glowing eyes. But that's only when he's pissed. And, uh... Yeah, no, his eyes are normally, like, pitch black with... Uh... White pupil. White pupils. And... Velgrind takes after Inko a lot. And the way that she's stupid caring. And... Yeah. It's basically... You touch my child, I will kill you. Vilgrind looked at him and was like, I want to adopt this, but I know my sister will beat my ass if I do. And Veldora is just like, I feel like this child will be stronger than me. Why is... Why is it that whenever someone in my family has a child, they're stronger than me? And uh, he's jealous. And he won't admit it, but he cares for Izuku. Which is coincidentally his name. Now, when he's around 18, because yeah, he's thousands of years old, what the fuck did you expect? Although he is younger than Milo. And Milo did take him to a Walpurgis. And was like, You will look upon my, ne my cousin and you will like him. Because if you don't, I will send you to hell. Uh, let's say, because... Fuck it, he's always tired Dino's is like oh, whatever I could care less about this brat and Izuku would give him puppy dog eyes this is like okay never mind I like this child good and everyone minus Clayman is just like I will protect this child until the day I die and even then I will continue to protect him after death Yeah, no. Uh, stuff gonna happen. Uh, I, I, I don't know about you, but... <coughs> Clay Man's gonna get what's due. If you don't know what he does, he does some very fucked up shit. If you learn... If you want to go watch that time I got reincarnated as a slime both seasons 1 and 2 either that or you can watch the manga yeah, yeah watch the manga read the manga Christ anyway
way. Yeah, uh, read the manga or read one of the light novels. I'm pretty sure that are out. Yeah, yeah, you'll understand what Koi Man does and why he's gonna get his ass thoroughly beat by not only Izuku, but by everyone. Anyway, he meets these three bandicoots. You see where this is going. The three are girls, and one is very magic savvy, I guess, <laughs> in place of tech savvy. One is, and the other two are really good fighters. I don't really know if Tana is a good fighter. But I do know that she is a playable character in one of the Crash games. Anyway, yeah. Crash is a girl in this. Cause fuck you, that'll be the ship. And when they first meet, she's not really that strong. Sure, she can hold her own against like normal humans, like bandits and stuff like that. But when it comes to like, humans and armor, yeah, no, she struggles. And Izuku just kind of like took them in, gave them names. Crash kind of has a crush on him, but doesn't tell him yet. And because of him naming him, they have some of his ability, passive abilities like regeneration, uh, like uh. Immortality. Fuck, what else? They have very minor fire abilities. Not like his, where you can just set his whole body on fire. And just launch the, the red spikes on his body that can regenerate. And if they touch him, if it touches someone who's like weak, like a normal ass human would turn to dust. If it was someone like the bitch ass wizard that swapped bodies, it'll like disintegrate half of them. But if it's someone like Guy or any of the true dragons, it'll just disintegrate a hand. And if it were to be someone like Rimuru or Veldanava, you know, it wouldn't even do shit. It would just inflict some pain. Because it can inflict pain no matter what you are. And what a, and what uh, fucking things you got. <sighs> uh. Yeah. Eventually, they just wander the globe. He can carry them on his back. He's a lot bigger than than the shellfins are in the game. Like by a lot. Like he can carry. Shit, how, how much should he be able to carry? He could he could carry the the goblin village at the start of the anime. Yeah, he could carry all of that. He can carry the goblin village pre-orc disaster. Minus the uh, dire wolves. And yeah, he just wanders the globe a lot. He visits his mother a lot. He visits his aunt. He visits his cousin. He'll, he'll every so often go visit Vildora. And yeah, that's that's about it for this one. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you want. Dislike, unsubscribe. Leave a hateful comment if you want. I am not in control of you. Uh, yeah, and that.
Uh, good night. I'll see y'all when I see y'all next. Peace.